Greetings and salutations, YouTubers. Tarl the Mad here. Hello. How are you? Glad you can join me for another video. As you can see, I'm in a place I haven't been recently. If at all. If you guys ever noticed. This is Magoo's uh, Sky Factory server. It's called Magoo Craft. Uh, you need the AT launcher. You um, start an instance of Sky Factory 2. Add everything except for the infinite inventory. And then you use the address mc.magoocraft.net. And it's uh, Magoo is spelled M A G O O. Of course, craft is normal. And that's a dot net. This is spawn. This is where you're first show up, right here in the spot where I'm standing. We. No, I didn't know I could get those on there. It's the special effects from the uh, block right above my head. Now, a lot of work went into uh, making this. The center island here, uh, I believe, was mostly the work of Rogue, uh, one of our uh, staff members and friends here on the server. Shout out to him. Like I said, I believe he did most of the work. I think Rex Galaxy also helped. I know Magoo helped some because, well, you know, it's his server. Um, I watched Rogue build that up there. It's pretty neat. I think it's supposed to be a swirling vortex bringing you into this world. Um, it started off, it was just going to be this island. We had a little island here, which I'll show you this first. Mr. McGew made this little island right here with the Sakura tree on it. Very similar to our original spawn in our Sky Factory when it was still whitelisted. And uh, I uh, asked him if it was okay if I could help through things, and he said sure. I asked for Rogue's help uh, building the bridge because I've seen him do them before and pretty good. So he designed this bridge for me. Uh, all the silverwood logs uh, because I took this little tiny island and I expanded it quite a bit. And it's uh, kind of an odd shape. I laid almost every block by hand. See, it's uh, pretty big and it's solid. I decided to use the Batania flowers to decorate because, well, you know, they're neat. Uh, the torches are there because uh, in the beginning we were having uh, lighting and uh, mob spawning issues. And of course, uh, put the silverwork tree here and grew it to tie in with the uh, fence barrier so people don't fall off, uh, which you can still do in other places. It's kind of a lookout. Um, we'll see about maybe making something out there later on to really look at. And then at first I just made a couple small islands off to the side so I could make uh, four other bridges and various types of wood. And we've got this here. So, see, there. The GooCraft server provider, tivi.ca. It's uh, Tivi Hosting. And that would be chronologically. Uh, he is the, um, I guess, the, the main guy that maintains the hardware and helped us set up the server, so shout out to you. You know, you know, you silly teddy bear looking thing. And then uh, for now, this is our staff. Of course, everybody knows me. There's me. There's my head. Oh, and then we got Rogue. And I always mispronounce that, so yeah, you guys can take that as you want. He's told me once. Oh, looks like his name's spelled wrong. Somebody's going to have to fix that. Wow, that's Rogue. He's the one that built that and that up there. Oh yeah, I did this little dome. And then there's Rex Galaxy. He's helped fill out here and there. Um, I'm not sure exactly what specifically of this island is his. Um, I'm sure he can tell somebody. And then of course we have our boss and owner of the server, Mr. McGee. There's his head there. And then we have our other staff member, uh, I believe we're going uh, 
Well, I'm listed as admin. I know Mandy's the same rank as me. But there's Mama Mandy. Hey, hi, Mama. So, that's our staff. Well, we've got one more. We've got uh, Little Man V. He builds. He helps out a little bit here and there. And uh, I think Mandy's uh, got a couple other builders, too, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, let's take you over here to the other small island. I don't have anything built yet, but, you know, something coming soon. I just figured it in. Show off neat. Kind of like the wood. And then, uh, we have a shop coming, eventually. We weren't sure where to put it, and Magoo didn't have any ideas, so after I made my small island here, which I made the little bridge too, server shop coming soon. It was just a dead end dome. I was gonna have to stop here. Then I just got a wild hair up my nose and caused me an itch, so I made the bridge. I kinda used the same idea for the small ones, but I stretched it out. And uh torches have been added to again for, for lighting issues, which happens. Now um I haven't gotten an okay for it yet from Magoo, but uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it to him. Little Man V gave me a great idea. He mentioned maybe making a parkour course here in Spawn, because he's jumping around, and he found that he could go all the way up on top of this dome, and he can even jump over that magnum torch all the way over here to this bridge at the, the edge of the dome. And of course, you know, you got a little bit of area here. So, with that in mind, we may uh, see about possibly setting up a parkour course and having something special. This is the shop. Um, uh, we uh, had a minor problem. It caused uh, some of our progress in there to get rolled back. So, it's not open yet. Let's see. I don't want to break this. Let's use one of my powers. So, um, these shops were, um, set up by me. Um, the, the, the biggest chunk of them. Uh, Magoo gave me a picture of what he wanted the shops to look like, and he only had one picture. And I tried making it, and it didn't look too good. And Rex was on, and he, uh, Asked if he could help, so I said, "Yeah, sure. You know, I'm frustrated. Why don't you uh, take a chance?" So he tried, and it wasn't too bad. And I took that and I altered it a little bit, stretched it out, changed the materials and stuff, and that's how we get our shops here. Uh, the light blue, dark blue one uh, is based on Mandy's colors, and then we got. Magenta and purple, which purple is one of my favorite colors, and I couldn't figure out any other color that went good with it, and I didn't want to use too much white. So, and then we got this. This is Magoo's colors. His skin is mostly red, white, and black, and he really likes tiger wood. So, I decked it all out. Uh, I believe this is going to be the Minecraft item shop. You know, like Skyblock, if you've ever played that. Ooh, excuse me, Andy, I apologize for that. Um, Skyblock, you know, uh, on a lot of servers has shops. And this, um, I just had some random colors left over to, because we wanted it to be bright and festive in here. And in the wolves, we, I only had the, the green, orange, and the yellow, pink, so I thought these two would go good. Of course they have, and of course there's all the basic Minecraft blocks that you can buy. Oh, wait. Why does it... Um... That's not good. Uh, I wonder if I can get in there and fix it. That would be a carpenter block mess up. Uh, which happens from top. Oh, side, side. This should be full. Let's double check that. Yeah, there we go. Um, after
after we got the design hashed out and everything, uh, I decided to remake all this in Carpenter's blocks. That way we could uh, change the textures whenever for like maybe holidays and seasonal stuff or special events and that kind of thing. And last but not least, uh, I actually have to do some work on this again. Um, it's uh, been changed a little bit. I was experimenting with different woods. Um, let's see, what kind of wood was that? That was willow wood. Oops. Huh, that's weird. wonder why it did that. That's extremely odd. Huh. But it didn't change anything. I wonder if maybe I did. Yeah, I bet you I did. Carpenter box can be kind of weird sometimes. Alright, I'll get rid of that. Um. Oops. I didn't need to do it. I, I got my... I forgot. <laughs> When I'm on my island playing, I run normal when I'm here because I'm building. Uh, I get my super uh, power mode. But then, of course, everybody's seen them before in some of my videos. My uh, double helix fountain. Um, we all voted on the uh, liquids to go there. I think those colors uh, are pretty good. And then, that's glowstone. Use the chisel too to change the look of it. And of course, dirt, I uh, like the paths. And then we got cobble here. And then we got the different autumnal and bluegrass. Just to, you know, I wanted a design. Oops. I forgot to go into the creative mode, turns off things like fly. I just decided to give us some interesting little patterns. Of course, we got our big old dome. Oh, look, it's raining. For some reason, it rains a lot out here. Uh, that's our list of things that we want in the shop. Uh, Mickey's been handling most of that because he knows how he wants to set it. He said, we're still working on it. But the server is it's, uh, open and public. Feel free to come visit us. We, we need new visitors. So. We've had a, a few in the past uh, since we opened. Uh, let's see, I'm recording this early Tuesday morning or really late Monday night, and it's been open since the Saturday. So it's uh, three, four days, depending on how you want to look at it and what time zone you're in. Because, um, you know, I'm in uh, America someplace, and it's like Rogue, he's in uh, New Zealand, so our time zones are like. 12, 13, 14 hours difference, and yeah, of course we welcome anybody from any nation, uh, just uh, please uh, speak English in, in chat, because, uh, well, some of us uh, darn Americans just do not know more than one language. Um, I know enough to get by or uh, ask politely if you speak English in a couple of languages, but I'm real rusty at it. Um, I haven't had the uh, um, pleasure to go to other countries to visit. Um, you know, I spent most of my life here in the U.S. Yay! Alright. Well, this is our spawn. I know I just wasted about half my normal time for recording Ooh, into the we definitely need to do something about that. So, alright, here we go. Once you're from spawn, you can either use the slash is, or is island, or is land, as little man always remembers how to spell it. Now, uh, we don't have a true uh, um, uh, sky factory set up, because uh, you start here on a a little island, uh, more like skyblock setups. And of course, you know, skyblock, do not fall, beware. And of course, anyway, he's uh, launched, as you already see me on this island. Uh, let's see, he's my fly 
I still on? Okay. I'm going to turn fly on for just a moment. I don't normally use it. Um, I think of my last video. Uh, you guys saw all the work I did. and I did some more off camera. And then I had a snafu. And my island kind of got broke and rolled back the song. And I had to redo it. Now I had a set design. There's my um, killer cow, Death. Uh, yeah, I've got him locked up in his own separate pen so he can't push me off the island anymore. And of course, I've got barriers, but you know them cows, they're evil things. Almost as bad as a sheep. So, I've been kind of busy the last few days. Um, this is my mob spotter. It's kind of an odd shape. I use a single source of water here to push them all down a channel. And because I don't have too many resources yet, I'm using wooden spikes to uh, kill them. Um, I did have enough to make a piston. So, whoop, uh, I fell through a hole in my island. Yes, I know it's there. Um, basically what I can do, do that and put the spike there. Mobs come down, they drop here. Uh, the wooden spikes will stop at half a heart on any mob, well, almost any mob, um, I made that conveyor belt, I actually made a whole stack, but I gave some to Lil Man V, I only needed one. Uh, what that does is when I have the spike pulled back to drop mobs into the void, like that creeper just went, uh, they can't catch on the outside of my platform underneath here and attack me from behind. Um, I've died a couple of times like that. So, um, I started using water scaffolding, uh, started off real small, I made me second layer, which is becoming my farm. I stole some of the dirt because I'm working on making an animal pen over there. This is also partially storage, which, um, because of the drops, I've been, uh, slowly starting, you know, get my mob drops on either side, I stand here and whack everything. I, I take off the conveyor belt first and so I can get my uh, my drops and they go into those two. And then I started sorting like armors I put in here. When I get enough of them I put them together so I can smelt them. This is my catch-all or I'm not sure where to put it yet. Yeah, loot bags, those are always fun. These have really let me start get going. That's where I get these in scrapers. Um, I'll need those when I go to make a, a um, battery energy storage system from AE or Applied Energetics. And of course, you know, some of this other stuff. And then bones and potions, arrows, cobblestone and stuff to make it. I have a cobble generator. Uh, Batania, mine factory reloaded. You know, I'm getting some of this stuff from uh, uh, loot bags and like all these trees are from uh, sifting dirt. Um, I've got my unprocessed ores from uh, uh, sifting gravel and sand and stuff. And the few I have refined and smelted, so I'm not that rich yet. These are all empty. Up here, I've got my own section of carpenter's blocks. That mob spawn our first built carpenter blocks, but it allowed uh, too much light in for mobs to spawn all the time. And then, of course, thumb of craft stuff from uh, loot bags, and, as well as uh, oops, from zombies. I forgot those don't go in here. I mean, they're a mob drop. Along with the craft. And then I've got my uh, farm. I didn't get potatoes till like late yesterday. Oh, I prefer potatoes to carrots and everything else. I'm growing so much wheat because uh, I can stick them in those barrels to help get more dirt. And then I've got my sugar cane, pumpkin. I finally got a melon. So, yeah, I'm going to fill this back in. I'm going to leave a uh, two blocks for a walkway around, and yeah, I'll go down my elevator, and this is going 
to be my main herb. I got my bed set up down here now. There's my cobble generator. Let's see, grab a pickaxe. Ink. And uh, because of how I've got it set up, the cobble's kind of slow to come back. Because right there in the middle, right underneath that piece of bedrock that's right above it, which I'll show you. See the bedrock right there with the torch on it. And then I got the water. The water's for dual purpose. It uh, waters the farm. And um, uh, water will saturate dirt up to four blocks away from it. So the way those two are staggered, and then with my water elevators, it gets all the dirt in this area. Well, I had it all set up and tested it for a while, and it works. There's my bed. Of course, it's right under the mob drop. Um, I was trying to find a way to enclose this area in so I'd be safe from mobs, and then I was like, well, you know, it's from, like, down here. And of course, I tried glowstone there. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the floor. And of course, I'm going to go a couple other levels down, but I said to use carpenter's garage door. So I, you know, um, almost like a, um, a Japanese theme, you know, with walls that you can open up and let in breezes and light, close them for the night. I just thought that was, you know, a neat idea. And of course, I finally made a smell tree. That's why I've got those. And of course, because those are there, I can just reach up and grab or stick stuff back in them. And then I've got my uh, tinker stations here. So it's like I need to fix my hatchet. Broke it. Breaking trees. Let's see, I don't. Yeah, it's one block full. Yay! And of course, I can make other stuff. It's just a tool station now. I could go ahead and change it into a forge station. I have enough iron. But, yeah. And then my. Uh, pattern chest. I was most happy about getting this. Those of the know why you will know why you want a full guard pattern. Um, if you don't know, uh, send me a, uh, or leave me a comment and I'll be glad to uh, tell you why. Alright, let's see. Show you guys normally the hair. Um, you know, I didn't need to do that. Why not just... There we go, Taro. Remember, turn on fly to show it, right? This is my smell tree. It's just a little itty bitty right now. But uh, it's my original crucible. Figured I need a lava source to smell stuff, but uh, torches just aren't fast enough. So I made some extra lava, set it here. Luckily, carpenter's blocks do not catch on fire. I'll clean this up a little bit later so that that lava's not flowing and, and dangerous. But the only reason why I set it up this way, the cobbles there, I can just turn around, shove it into these crucibles to make lava. As you can see, it's full. And there is my uh, seared tank um, for, uh, uh, you know, uh, my energy source. Let's see, right there. That's how I put it back in. Uh, eventually, I will get pipes, and I will make me a second seared tank, just for uh, symmetry sake. Put it there, and then with uh, like Ender IO fluid tanks, have it taken directly out of the crucible and into the um, smeltery, so I won't have to worry about that. I don't think I'm gonna go super big or do a double setup like I did in the last one. Um, I can be a bit of a hassle. Of course, uh, I was also doubling all of my uh, ores by pulverizing them. I'm not sure if I'll do that. And then, oh, I've got signs. So, let's see here, I've got Tinker stuff. So, I'll just put. Tinker stuff because we got the honest tinkers in there too. So, and uh, that's pretty much all I've got going so far. Oh, see, I fell pretty regularly. This seems to be a 
really good mob spawner. Which, here, let me... We'll break into it real quick. Whoa! Ah, good thing I fly on. Ow! So, this is my mob spawner. See? Whoa! <laughs> Even standing there, they come out of nowhere. Uh, and I don't have a bow I want to use yet, so uh, let's see, let's just... No! Ouch. But uh, I put down half slabs in every 3x3 three three section to prevent uh, spiders from spawning down in here. It's not that long. It's a uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections. Three, so that's what, like, twenty-one blocks on the interior in length, and then six. And of course, everybody wants to come off here, come here, and as they go down, they hit those spikes like that, and then they. Well, if I'm not standing here, they, uh, like that zombie just did. So, it's a nice, neat little thing that you go on. Punch it back up. And, of course, this is my, uh, I'm hoping to get passive mobs to spawn here. Uh, sheep, cow, chicken, pig, maybe some fluid cows. But uh, it's slow going. I don't quite have enough room for trees over there. Um, I'm only growing three to try, which slows me down because it takes uh, eight uh, saplings to make a block of dirt. Of course, I'm not using those for rain anymore. I went ahead and made an infinite pool just to uh, make things quicker. Oop, my head's wearing the clouds. And that's pretty much my island and what's going on with. Oh, I need to light up over here a little bit better. I'll do that off camera because I've uh, got to turn on, uh, hit F7. And see all the uh, yellow and red X's where things are spawning. Well, this is basically what's going on. Um, we got a few minor bugs that we're working on, but you know, if you come on the server and play and you experience any of them, feel free to ask any of us running around. Uh, me, Magoo, Mandy, and Rogue. Um, we're the, you know pretty much the the main staff. Um, Rex Galaxy and Little Man V are uh, just builders. Basically, they help uh, build stuff for spawn and whatnot when we need that extra help when they're available. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, if I've been trying to do everything as so much as possible. Let's see. I even been keeping fly off, and although I was given a suit of armor by Magoo for helping out with the server and being part of his staff, uh, I don't use it very often. Um, I don't know. I think if I've, I've expressed my views on uh, uh, cheating using um, creative and all that. Ah, there we go. I'm sure I could probably find faster ways to get up and down than uh, water elevators, but eh, just something kind of neat about them. And staying them all the way down or all the way up and not drown. <laughs> no, I haven't drowned yet. Almost. Uh oh. And now I seem to be stuck. Okay, there we go. Whew, got really close.
close to drowning, wouldn't that just be great? It's bad enough I die on camera a lot, especially if you watch my, uh, It's a Mad World Let's Play. Yikes. I'm gonna have to start doing some work on that one off camera. Um, just, um, I'm trying different design techniques and whatnot, uh, that's why I made the, uh, chisel. Yes, that is an obsidian chisel, but thanks to a loot bag, I have a stack of obsidian. Almost, well, that was like a half stack. And that's how I got uh, these neat pattern. Uh, that's acacia wood that has uh, had a chisel. Let's see, let me get this out. And then we go into the chisel. Put this here. Ta-da, I picked this one, Acacia Wood Crate. So, I don't know, just, it looks cool with those windows. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, all my, let's see, that's a torch. Uh, let's see, do I have any? Yep, take a torch, normal torch, you need to pick all these things, and I, I thought that one looked uh, pretty spiffy for the design I'm going for. Um, I know I have the space to sprawl out like the last one, but I haven't really decided to do that, so. Oh, I just looked at my timer. Wow, I'm long-winded today. Alright. Well, with that, uh, I'm going to have to, you know, thank you guys for coming by, visiting. Hopefully we'll see you on the server. And to get to us, remember that you use the AT launcher, you install an instance of Sky Factory 2 with all the mods, but you can go ahead and ignore or disable the infinite inventory mod because we don't use it. It was uh, causing some bugs and problems, and well, you know, we don't want that. And you can visit us at MC dot magoocraft dot net magoo is m a g o o it's not mango it's not mavu it's magoo m a g o o there you go young man i think i hyped up and advertised you enough now oh, darn it let me record on the server <laughs> I'd give a shout out for him, even if I wasn't on here all the time. Yeah, he's a good guy. So, alright. Well, I see you somewhere. You're going to have to go kill. I definitely got to fix that problem. Alright. Well, with all that, my video is running kind of long. And I want to get this up so people can see it. Uh, even though I don't have many viewers. Hopefully, uh, they'll start to pick up now that this has gone live. And uh, all that. Well, I thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you've had a good time. And now this clouds my way. Really? Just as I'm gonna. Come on. This just.